Peggy 12. For many, the allure of medieval fantasy RPGs is so obvious, so captivating. This idea of living in another world, somewhere more hostile, more magical, more intense than our real lives is a powerful escape. While visiting such a world, we want to believe. The illusion breaks down when the game reminds you constantly that it is a game. That is what happens when the game is always giving you freebies. Go venture in the wilds, but don't worry, you're half dragon, you're the chosen one, you're the lost child from a prophecy. Nah, we want to scale back things so that you live in a fantasy world, but from the perspective of an ordinary human being, with no superpower and no game developer guiding you at every step. This is a game for those who aren't afraid of being vulnerable, for those who want to own up to their mistakes and feel the sting of their failures. Who said that adventuring should be easy? Who said that you, the player, can't do it on your own? Even ordinary people can do extraordinary things. In order to make the adventuring life more human, the threat of combat shouldn't be your only worry. Hunger, thirst, exhaustion, these are all part of the deal when you travel on tame lands. It also wouldn't make sense for a normal human being to get out in the cold of winter without furs and have a warm fire. It wouldn't make sense to run around the desert in a large, fully plated armor, either. This is part of the vision behind Outward. The story isn't about you being some central, mythical figure. The obstacles aren't about single-handedly crushing armies. That's not what adventuring is about. Outward is about making you live in a medieval fantasy world that feels more real, more human. Yeah, it's harder, but we, the devs, we know you're smart, we trust that you can do it, and the rewards will be earned, not handed to you.